Hello everybody and welcome to another trading video. I'm your market, market analyst Adam Karlberg and today we're going to be having a look at the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen. So a couple of reasons as to why we chose this currency pair is that one of the things we've done is looking for a really strong um, currency at the moment which is the franc. We're also looking for a really weak currency in the yen and just by having that little bit of background knowledge we can actually identify potential trading opportunities and pretend potentially some trending currency pairs. So as we move into the chart, one of the things we can see is that we've had this long period of kind of an upward trend going back really since 2020. And that was, as we can see, we saw this crossover of the 50 period moving average back over the 200 period moving average on the weekly chart. And that's really the start of this big upward move. One of the other things that we can see guys is that we've got this, um, we've got this period of consolidation here where we've seen a big upward swing and we've now decided, okay, the currency needs to rest a little bit. Buyers and sell, uh, buyers are potentially becoming a little bit exhausted and we've hit a point of resistance. We also haven't been able to break past this last level at 130.60 yen, which is the prior resistance level. Now, having RS um, but we also uh, haven't been able to break below this 70, um, really that strongly either and when we were able to get down um, we bounced off pretty quickly so now moving to the daily chart and again we can see this trend forming we've been able to respect the 50 period moving average pretty consistently which is a good sign that the trend is continuing um, and as we just reset this chart so we get a little bit of a close look we've got this price contraction that's starting to occur where the range is getting a little bit tighter and we are seeing a bit of a consolidation. So what we, we've got is this almost like this triangle forming this wedge and we're really just waiting for the price to kind of break above the top of the wedge for another move. So we know we might see something like this, a break above, let me just draw that again, it's a bit unclear. We might see something like this come back down and test before we break again to the upside. A couple of other things to note is that we can also see a nice consolidation of the RSI, um, you know, from that kind of overbought category. Um, we're kind of basing around or we're kind of consolidating towards the 50 zone. Um, and that's also something that, you know, we can use in conjunction with the price to hopefully break above and break higher. But there you go, guys, a potential long opportunity on the franc yen. Keep an eye out um, and good luck trading. Thanks for listening.